when I was looking for what I could do with my son that had been variously diagnosed as a phasic, um, a slow learner. And as I was looking around, someone told me about this nascent school. Hill Preparatory School started in January 1988 and it had the philosophy of integrating children with special needs with those of their regular counterparts in order for them too to be able to benefit from integrating. The idea is for both these children to be put in the same learning environment so that the children with special needs do not feel that they are abnormal or different in any way. The child often isn't even aware that they have a problem. However, they do have a problem and it affects their future, the outcome of their lives, what they may or may not do and the struggle of the parent is to know what to do. What we need to do parents, as teachers, as schools, as community, is to expose them to different activities where they are able to discover their talent and equip them with life skills. Special children here are graded according to the, the intensity of their need. Some are fully integrated in the primary school section and are prepared for the examinations, the national examinations. Others, we discovered they are not going to go through anything conventional, so we train them towards vocational. I would want to have a situation whereby health preparatory school can partner with vocational training institutions so that when our children leave, say in P7, they can join uh, vocational training institutions, that's if they don't go into a secondary school, and be equipped with these skills. But the vocational training uh, institutions have to take cognizance of the fact that these are children with special needs, and therefore they'll need special education in their training. Often, if a child is like my son, who is autistic, they are socially maladjusted. Their social behavior is abnormal, you know, to say it in the least. So they will do real oddities within the societal context. So you need to sensitize the society, but you also need to help this person to be able to live. Even as they come here, they know that their parents put more thought to the other children who don't have special needs and then they come as next best. And that is very clear when they are dropped here and the other children are dropped somewhere else. Or that is the same when other children, their fees are paid for and the fees of this, these ones are not paid for. So we want to have an oasis of love here that when they enter this gate, they feel something special.
lo and behold, um, an odd child at the beginning, not well adjusted in the class, in the nursery school. And now, what do you have? A young man with an ability to play jazz music. And we are all rocking to the ethos of whatever good thing is within his soul. I thought he would be a good concierge. And I shared that with the mom. And she thought, oh, well, how nice. She thought this is a soft spot that Claire has for Caesar. She obviously had seen something that we had not seen and put it into practice. Yes, even today he's an adorable young man. He's lovable, but he can do much more. So the lesson for us is to expose them and go beyond our wildest imagination because that is where that little seed we saw in him can grow to much higher levels. She has this wonderful anecdote where she said she was trying so hard to find what she could do for her son and I think she had hired somebody to come home and do some little bit of work with Caesar and she said he, he was a musician but you know he would turn up do a little bit of work with Caesar and then just disappear you know he never I think became anyone big but he connected with the soul of her son. We celebrate the fact that his mother and father chose music for him that blends beautifully with his own talent and his own nature. And that is why Caesar has a, wi a wide um, set of fans. They see his music and they see his heart and they feel him. And that's what we saw here long ago. But the mother and father saw much more and they invested so much more. And so we celebrate his success as a musician, we celebrate him as um, uh, a person who has a band to his name, we celebrate him as the second generation of children here, we celebrate him as something for this city, something for this country, and we enjoy his music. Mm -hmm.